Hi guys, welcome to the Craft Beer Channel and welcome to our video about Creek Creek. <laughs> so we've done videos about Creek before. Uh, we've been to Belgium and talked about their lambics, and um, we've also done a video on my favourite Creek, which is Oud Beersel Creek. Uh, that's not in this particular video, uh, but we do reference it at one point, so watch out for that one. You better watch out. Um, this is about creeks around the world. That's amazing, because you know you just think of creeks and you think of uh, that specific part of the think, world. Yeah, you think of the Pujottenland. The Pujottenland. Uh, and technically, uh, the other two in this aren't really creeks, but they do have huge influences from that place. There are now breweries, people like uh, Jester King, that are doing full-on lambics yeah. uh, outside of the Pajotan land. What is a lambic? So a lambic is a sour beer uh, from the Pajotan land, which yes. is made through spontaneous fermentation. So in most breweries, you'd have your beer, or at least your wort with your hops, and you'd yeah. add inoculated yeast, like tamed yeast. Exactly, your strain. Yeah, exactly. So with lambic beers, instead of adding tame yeast, they cool their beer, usually on the roof of their brewery, yes. in giant swimming pools called cool ships, uh, and wild yeasts go in. From the air from all the around, air. Yeah. So, so it's like a site-specific thing. Exactly, yeah, so wherever Amazing. you make it in the world, it'll taste different. But what we're going to do is we're going to start off with one of the quintessential creeks mm -hmm. uh, from the Pajotan land. So you have the Lindemans, which is hugely sweet, in fact it's sweetened, and then at the other end of the scale you have perhaps the Dry Fontaines and the, the Hansons, which are... Uh, like give you eye sweats and just they're just absurdly sour. Uh, Boone strikes it right down the middle, and particularly yeah. the fresh ones are quite sweet, but they slowly gain their sourness as time passes. As, as time goes on, wow. like people, <laughs> like people get more sour. So here's a little soup song of Original Creek to uh, locate our palates. Hmm. So you get that kind of slight funky uh, farmyardy ciderous red wine. Yeah. Kind of thing. But there's big uh, Bakewell tart cherryness there. Yeah, it's... it's Yeah, it's a, it's a cherry that's a kind of like corrupted cherry, isn't it? It's... <laughs> corrupted cherry, yeah. So the first Lambic, non-Lambic we're going to go for comes from England. Comes from Carnwall. Carnwall! Uh, and one of my favourite traditional and indeed experimental breweries in the UK, which is St. Austell, who don't get right. the rep that they deserve. Yeah. Um, they do lots of really cool experimental stuff, including the Tamar Creek. Well, you can tell that's already a very different looking beer yes. to the boot. Yes. A lot darker, less cherry looking. Mm. So so this one was made by brewing a strong, uh, I guess a strong Belgian ale. Yes. Uh, which they then barrel aged for a year uh, in the last couple of months, put in some cherries from the Tamar, which is a river. I mean... Yeah, it's a river. It's, it's a river, yeah, just about, yeah. Yeah. just about uh, cherries that are grown uh, on the on the banks of the Tamar. That's cool. So I can kind of tell that's not spontaneously fermented already. It's a much thinner kind of sour aroma. It, it feels more like a kettle sour. Yeah, like lots of lactobacillus and not so much of the brett and the pediococcus and the other things that you get. But it is light and lemony and. Kind of Berlin of icy or yeah, it's certainly a lot lighter, lighter, isn't it? Mm. Sour than the boom. Sourer. Pretty Shirty. smooth though. Like we picked up on loads of lactobacillus, it's got yeah. that yogurty, that twang, but then it is quite sweet as well. It's mm. like a cherry kind of yogurt. Yeah, and it is 100 percent sherbet as well. Like, yeah. like you say, it's got that that zing. Yep. And what about the cherry? Do you get enough cherry? Not enough for my liking. Right. So I class that beer probably more as like a, well it tastes like a Berliner Weiss with cherries. Mm -hmm. Much lighter, kind of wheaty and uh, lemony, along with a cherry kind of edge, but it's not, Yeah, that, that's it's no Bakewell. That's no, it's not a forward cherry, is mm. it? That's sort of way in the background. Yeah. So Creek number three uh, comes from America. Wow. Uh, and this time they have had the audacity to call it a Creek. Uh, which might make the odd Belgian uh, raise their eyebrow and twiddle with their Poirot moustache. Um, but this does have genuine lambic pretensions. Um, so essentially what happened with this beer is it's a collaboration between New Belgium in Colorado mm -hmm. and Oud Beersel, who make my favourite creek. Um, so what Oud Beersel did is they made a lambic, 
aged it as per norm in a barrel, uh, and then added some cherries, blended it with cherries, and then shipped it over to Colorado. Cool. Where New Belgium have been brewing a... So they've got like a sour... I think it's a sour blonde ale um, called Felix, which is aged in their fooders. So it goes sour uh, with mixed fermentation in there. Uh, and then they also brewed a lager. Wow. Uh, and they blended all that together to create Transatlantique Creek. I get it. And that's what we're about to taste. Uh, it's quite a soft. It, you it's, get a lot. It's, a very, like, it's almost like strawberry sweet. I get of. a lot of the lager off of that. I'm getting a real <laughs> Pilsner malt. Yeah, malty. Yeah. It's, it's jammy. Like it's like strawberry jammy. It's, it's quite jammy. I'm not getting much of the sourness off of that. No. It's n- nothing not like the sour as these two. No way. Um, if somebody asked me, one of these doesn't have any spontaneous fermentation in any of those mixed cultures, mm-hmm. you'd, you'd pick this one. And yeah, yeah. It's, it has. It does. That's bizarre, right, let's give it a go. Let's see how it feels. There's loads of bitterness. Well, not loads. There's some. There is some bitterness. Yeah. There, there is some bitterness from the ale that they've blended it with. Um, again, quite jammy, quite strawberry jam. It's a very different. It's a different prospect to those. Yeah, completely. It's, you know, like, have they watered that? It feels slightly watered down. I'm not wild about that. <laughs> not wild about it. No <laughs> way. How is that? There it goes. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like what what's happened is they've lost that deep Moorish sour richness of the cherry they've lost the funky edge yeah if they if that had been a strawberry i'd have been like that's a really lovely summery fruity sour beer exactly but instead what you've ended up with is like a, oh you've you've kind of messed up a batch of Oud beer cell creek really there haven't you is that, is that too much no i don't think so i mean it's like a funk band that's lost the rhythm section <laughs> just the drummer's the, the drummer's too drunk or exactly he's drumming he's underwater falling off of his seat yeah it, me personally i think it's great but, you know, this style is spread throughout the world. I don't know what the Belgians would, would think about that, whether they'd get pretty pernickety. I'm yeah. guessing they probably would. I can imagine Belgians. Geert from Udbeerso would have drunk that and gone, oh, you added a, uh, added a lager to it. Yeah, um, and then just give you a really horrible, dirty stare. Like a knowing, <laughs> a knowing dirty yeah. look. But, I mean, I mean I, yeah. that is a great... I think that's probably a great gateway if, if somebody yeah. was like, oh, I don't really like sour beer, and you gave it to me, you're like, well, look... It's it's all on a spectrum. Yeah. Like sour is not it's not not sour not sour not sour not sour 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 sour. sour. Yeah, There's exactly. a spectrum and that is along that spectrum and then actually boo comes somewhere in the middle but it's it's funky as hell and then th- this is very very acidic and very very fresh. But um, there's going to be lots of amazing uh, spontaneously fermented beers coming out. I, I know there's one in Ireland. There's a cool ship now down at. Um, Burning Sky in Southern England. Amazing. Uh, and obviously Jester King. So there's going to be some fantastic <coughs> things and you'll be the first to know. Uh, well, no, you'll be several thousand, <laughs> but it'll be through us. So that's the important thing. And until then, stick to the classics. Cheers. Cheers. Hi, guys, and welcome to the Craft Beer Channel. I oh, know. Hi, guys, welcome to the Craft Beer Channel and to our episode all about... <laughs> <laughs> Greek. <laughs> <laughs>